Hi folks and welcome to a really detailed walkthrough tour here at number 11 of 99 Totterdale Street in Belconnen and we really are just on the doorstep of the Belconnen Town Centre. There's a lot to show you during this video. We just wanted to show you these really quite lovely internal grounds of the complex uh, just to show you the nicely uh, looked after and cared for and just four allocated visitor car spots. Plus out the front, I like the idea that you've got room for another vehicle here quite easily. Plus, of course, you've got this oversized single garage that we'll show you shortly. You've got a nice little frontage here with mature trees, giving you privacy for the internals because as we get inside, you'll see it's got this full length window that looks out into this garden space. So let's come inside and do a tour in here as well. Okay, so we come into a formal entry area and straight away as we come into these living spaces, we're going to notice a few things. Again, we mentioned these full length windows letting lots of natural light into the property. And if you spin the camera around, you'll see that full length window has a sliding door out to that rear yard, which we'll look at shortly. Okay, you'll notice a lot of updates throughout this property. The flooring, this engineered timber flooring looks absolutely beautiful and it extends all the way through these living spaces. So this has just been laid, nice painting throughout, uh, LED down lighting, you'll note. You've got these curtains as window treatments, just to give you that, again, further privacy if you need. And then the, actually an internal wall was removed because it was non-load bearing between these two living spaces. It was around here. And I like the idea of that because I feel like this is a lot more usable space. But it's not the only living space on the property. There's another space I'm going to show you here. Just before we get there, that exposed brick wall has been painted. And right up there on the top of that brick wall, that reverse cycle air conditioning unit, that's going to give you heating and cooling and cleverly positioned to be able to do this living space as well as going through into the second living space we'll look at shortly. This is a sliding door, the entry and exits out here. So if you go out to that rear yard, we'll have a look at that very shortly. Okay, so we come through a sliding cavity door here which you keep open or closed if you like and now we've got a nice little meals secondary living space area so a few things to show you at this part we've got a great storage room back in under here gosh you could almost call it a study but it's a bit cheeky doing that but a lot of storage in under the stairs so good use of space and then internal access into the single garage and it's just worth noting, looking at the brickwork, how much wider this garage is. So it's a lot wider than normal, a lot larger than the normal 18 square metres. So internal access, of course, is very important to be able to come straight in and out with your groceries and not have the hair and rain blowing you around. Let's turn right and show you the uh, downstairs facilities, the laundry room. And this, of course, can be shut off with a swinging door. So this is the door if you turn the camera around, so you can shut all this area off if you like. But really worth noting that we've also got a downstairs powder room, giving you a vanity and a toilet. And that's really important for guests, isn't it? Or yourself, if you don't want to run upstairs. Um, we've obviously got another bathroom up there to show you. Let's come and check out the kitchen area because you'll see some updates throughout here, uh, specifically appliances and whatnot. But let's have a look at the, uh, the size and aspect of the kitchen. Um, you have a look at the uh, grills, Westinghouse stainless steel finish here, the electric oven, all right. Uh, have a look at your four five burner cooktop, which is an electric cooktop, the Bounty, and your uh, uh, range hood directly over the top. Okay, your nice uh, drawers and everything throughout and storage in the cupboard. Have a look at all these storage options. I like the corners, how they've utilized all of these. Spin the camera around and back into this corner. Again, you can see how much storage space we've got. And even if you pop the camera out the window, or just up to the window, you can see a really lovely outlook and again, letting lots of light into this part of the home. Let's actually go and check that out. So through another sliding door, out into a little concrete landing area. And what a neat little yard this is. Just a little bit of grass for your electric mower. You might get one of those uh, robot mowers to do it all for you, right? So there's not much to maintain here. I reckon you could do this in about five or six minutes flat. Now, this is what I love. I like neighbours, and this is a great neighbour, Mother Nature. So you've got a reserve way at the back there, um, and a pathway that actually takes you all the way down directly to the town centre without crossing any roads. And we're super close to the lake. We're gonna show you that a little bit later in the video. You've got a few garden beds you can put up here so you can be a little self-sustainable, um, and a little border of garden beds. Looking, the, taking the camera back up, 
we're going to have a look at a timber deck that comes off each of those three bedrooms. Um, you've also got your external clothesline, and just to let you know how much sun that's going to get, north is in this direction. So you're going to get a lot of great sunlight coming into this rear part of the home. You're going to dry those clothes quick smart. Through your rosemary bush here, all right, for your lamb rump that you might have in the weekends. And then you've got an electric hot water system, which is what that is. Okay, come with me now. We've still got more to show you. We're going to come back through these living spaces and I'm going to take you up the stairs, show you the uh, quality of flooring and everything. You can go ahead of me here. Nice new carpets put in there for you, so everything's looking absolutely beautiful. We wanted to present a property to you here where you're not going to have to do any maintenance, upkeep, updates. Everything's really just been done nicely for you. So you've got a separate toilet, okay? Nice to have it separate from the main bathroom up here. We're in the main bedroom at the moment, so just turn left and show you the extent of that walk-in road, okay? And then spinning back to show you just how large this room is. You could fit a king-size bed and bed tables really, really easily. Now we can step out through the sliding door, which we'll have a look at shortly. Worth noting, you've also got your wall-mounted uh, reverse cycle air conditioning unit up here for the main bedroom and your upgraded LED downlighting. Okay, so that's bedroom one, right next door, bedroom number two. And still a great size is what you'll notice. Have a look at how easy it is to fit a bedside bed, a bedside tables along with a double bed and swinging double door, built-in robes, giving you some hanging space and shelving space down the side. This room, of course, also steps out through that sliding door to the balcony. We'll have a look at that as we come off the next bedroom. Uh, let's have a look at the upstairs bathroom here. So really good condition. We've got both a bath and a corner shower, so it's worth noting that. You've got your vanity uh, and mirror over the top. So even a skylight in there just to bring even more natural light in here. And into bedroom number three, I'm gonna show you our storage options here. As you bring the camera in, we'll see that we've got, again, that same configuration on bedroom two. Shelving down one side, hanging on the other. Again, noting these new carpets throughout. Let's actually go and have a look at this external outlook. So out through the sliding door to this elevated deck. And we're getting a feel again for that path. Can you see that path that runs down into that town center? Uh, nice easy spot for kids or yourself just to, to take a little jaunt and uh, you don't even have to take the car out. And that's what location's all about, isn't it? I'm gonna show you something else about the location that's on the doorstep. Let's cut away and I'll come back to you in a second. So of course, when you purchase this property, you're not just purchasing the home, you're purchasing the location. And it has got an incredible location. So we'll just show you some of the things within just 150 meters of your front doorstep, from kids' parks and playground areas, uh, areas to ride their bike and safely, even a flying fox. Now, of course, these pathways worth remembering go all the way around. They completely circumnavigate the lake. So a really great trail if you're just into biking, walking, or taking a dog for some exercise. So, all of this is all packaged up for your purchasing pleasure as part of this a doorstep. Uh, on the one doorstep, of course, the town centre and the lake on the other. Folks, I hope you get a chance to come to the open home so we can show you in person. Look forward to seeing you there.